Yo, what's going on guys? So the first thing you're able to tell is that I actually got a haircut. So yeah, everyone asking for hair tutorials, still not gonna happen. So this video is sponsored by DistroKid. It is a streaming platform that allows artists and producers to get their music onto platforms. I'll be talking about it a little later in the video for in more depth, so. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a beat in the style like if you're reading this, it's too late, like old school Drake. I wanna do like a like a Wonder Girl Drake track. So yeah, one more thing I wanna ask everyone, are kicks dead in trap music nowadays? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please follow me on social media, links will be in the description. It's at Cavendignum1, and let's just get into the video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be using one of the samples out of my drum kit that I released. The sample is called Bells on Fire. Um, I have the FLP here. So I'll play the sample, what it sounds like in full, and then I'll break it down. So as you'll be able to see, it has that like used to Drake vibe, that like Wonder Girl, if you're reading this, it's too late type bounce to the to the melody anyway. I started off with violin staccato MP and it just sounds like this. So there's nothing too crazy. The effects I put on it are just so Valhalla Vintage Verb and an EQ. Then these bells, which I believe is these bells here, but pitched down. The effects on this are Vintage Verb and an EQ again. Next, I added this pluck. Yeah, it's literally just hitting on the E. And on this Love Filter, Vintage Verb and an EQ again. The higher bells here, which is just these pitched up, I believe. And then last of all, the thing which I think makes a sample fire is this trumpet in triplet pattern. This first trumpet staccato, and that follows this pattern and sounds like this. And it's just as simple as that. Like, so it, the sample is real simple, just vintage verb and an EQ. Obviously that got rendered out and literally just pitched down to become what it is now. So for me, it really just gives that, if you're reading this, it's too late type vibe, like the Wonder Girl sauce, the Boy Wonder sauce. So I'm just going to start a new project and use this sample to cook up. So before we get into this video, DistroKid is an online music service that allows artists and producers to put music on streaming platforms such as Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all those. It offers for creatives automatic revenue splits, so you tell them how you want to split the the money made from the track, the royalties, and they will sort it all out for you. You can even like put lyrics on the songs that you want the lyrics on. So like, you know what I'm saying? You can literally do anything you want on it. And it's so cheap for like unlimited songs that you can upload for like a year for an artist or a producer. Like I said, it's perfect. The reason I like Distro Kid is a lot of music I have produced for artists I work with has been released through Distro Kid. I'm literally every single one, I'm pretty sure and I have never heard any bad things about it, only positives, and it just, it is a very good way to get your music out there and get it heard by hundreds, thousands, potentially, people. My VIP link will be in the description for 7% off your first year, so go sign up with that code, but like I said, the link's in the description, just follow that through. And yeah, DistroKid is amazing. Now back into the video. So as you will already be able to tell, I'm focusing on the drums really for this track. It sounds like this. So I'm gonna put a soft clip on the master and an EQ just to boost the highs a touch. I might even pitch this down and speed it up a little bit. Yeah, so I really like the sound of that now and I think it's just time to start putting some drums on it. So I'm gonna start for like a rim snare first things first. Get it out my Cassidy Drum Collection Volume 1. Plug. Take this one called on murder. Combine it with this flow. Rim. And maybe 
A little trick you can do is move the shift just to make it sound like it has like a double sort of hit. Like you can notice it there, but drag it back. Next, I'll probably grab like an 808. For this one, I think I'm just gonna use a normal spins. Maybe keep it a bit longer and just gate it instead. Like that, make sure it's on cut itself. And I'm just gonna start by laying down like an 808 pattern in the style of Wonder Girl. So I'm happy with how this pattern sounds now. I'm gonna make sure it's all in the correct key. So I'm gonna have to set it back to its original pitch because I can already tell it's gonna, the 808 is gonna be hitting too low. Something you have to be really wary of in your melodies. So I'm happy with like how this 808 pattern sounds, but on Wonder Girl used to add a lot of slides into her 808. So I'm gonna try and add some like subtle little slides in there. So I added these little slide notes in here just for some differentiation. It sounds like this now. So I'm gonna duplicate this pattern over and just change it a little bit at the end. For, so for that Wonder Girl 808 pattern, it's just gotta be like slidey and like just hitty and missy, I, I, I literally. I don't know what I was saying there. Definitely had a kick, which is controversial nowadays. So the kick is clearly like punching through and it's adding like a little sort of bounce to it. it sounds like this. So yeah, we'd like definitely getting that Drake bounce together now. So next I'm just gonna add some open hat. I'm gonna put a gate on these and do some slides, I think. Maybe drop these down. Definitely take these down in volume more as well. It's one called the best, add it there. I use the bend snare from my drum kit. Next, I'm gonna add a hi hat, I think, and just lay down some sort of weird, quirky hi hat pattern. Don't, I'm gonna just add a simple two step. Ooh. So, I really did like the sound of this one, so I'm gonna bring this one over again to hit again. Maybe like a duplicate of it on top. Okay, that's cool. I really, really, really like the sound of that. Maybe these, I'll have them like rolling in. Just, just subtly and maybe just hit this one again like that drop this one a little touch like that oh yes that's the one that's the one that's the one Maybe I'll look for a perk or something. Oh. See, this drum bounce is incredible. I do not want to overdo it now, so I'm just going to send these for mixing. <sighs> that drum bounce is dumb. So 
now I'm just going to arrange the track. Okay, so I want to add some little differentiation on how this comes in. Maybe just take this part and just do some sort of like intro with it. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna keep the beat that simple. So that is how I would go about making a beat for Drake in the style of like Wonder Girl, if you're reading this, it's too late type vibe. All drums to use today are my Kevin Dignum drum collection volume one. So go grab that link, will be in the description for that also. Please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Don't forget my Disro Kid link will be in the description if you wanna go sign up, grab yourself a membership, don't forget 7% off. And follow me on social media, links will be in the description and it's at Kevin Dignum one if you just wanna search it up. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.